Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. And I am way, way much better. And thank you for all of you who send kind words and prayers and healing. Let's see, loves, what we have for the next week, second week of July for Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus. Resonate with you, loves. Very happy to hear your comments and your thoughts about it. If it doesn't, look at your chart and your birth placements. And of course, let's not be judging because, you know, we all are on a path. Just many, many of us are in different time lines. And also, all of you who did purchase a reading with me, have patience, loves, because I will do all the readings one at a time. The personal readings you requested and purchased from us, all right, loves. Let's see, Sagis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus Science. We have fork in a road. Fork in the road. You got to make a decision here. What to do? What to do? To be fair, all that glitters and time for now. Underneath for you, Sag, we have new life. So your fork in the road, it's quite obvious what to do, right? And the thing here, what I'm seeing here, you might go through a separation here with somebody or you've been in separation with somebody. Somebody who could be quite superficial or could be a connection very superficial, okay? Could be with a Libra or with an Earth sign. I see Earth energy. Could be air or Earth. Okay. Time for nap is take some time and see what is there for you. Okay. Whatever is here, to be fair, justice will be served. A fair decision will be made. And it's quite obvious. Underneath the deck, you know, loves, many times is the things you don't see yet to come to you. Let's see here. Observer, looking for something new? Keeping an eye? Let's see. What is there for my Sagittarians? Getting stronger day by day getting into your own energy. Also, there is a Sag here, as the Spirit says. You, you could hang in there into a situation for way too long, and now it's just like, you know, probably is the new moon, and the new moon in Cancer, a little emotional for you on the 9th, going to the 10th. Yes, we do have a new moon. And it feels like more like obvious that, you know what, I gotta go. I gotta keep moving. And also, the major arcana for Cancerian is the chariot. I gotta go forward. Let's see here. One overarching energy for your reading. Six of Pentacles. Needs balance. Needs stability. Needs a give and take. Absolutely. And I feel here from an unstable energy, you are moving towards something absolutely, fabulously new, sun. It's kind of like by the end of this month, you will be entering into a new energy. It's like by the Leo season, by the Lion's Gate. For some of you, you leave something here which is unstable. Or you might leave somebody who breadcrumbed you. Let's see. Seven of Swords. Oof. Three of Wands. Chariot. Voila. That's what I'm speaking here. I feel here you you could wait it for somebody. Or you could be in that energy like maybe 
maybe they are different than what I see or maybe they are not as I think they are. Well, you, you got the vibe, okay? Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. That's the Earth energy I'm seeing here. Empress, Death, and Knight of Wands. There is change, loves. There is change. Somebody here is leaving a partner. There is a new beginning. There is Sash. There is a lot of changes here coming. Also, I see Libra, Taurus energy here. I see Cancerian. I see Scorpio. Could be another Sag as well. The thing is, somebody here felt stabbed back. Stabbed in their back. The other thing here, what I'm seeing here, somebody here could wait it for somebody for quite a long time and feels like, you know, I'm not going to wait anymore. I got to move forward. Let's see. But for the fact, somebody here has deep regrets. Let's see. Five of Cups. Yeah, absolutely. They could be your twin flame. It's like they, they probably now, somebody here realizing that they mess, missed a great opportunity. They missed the, probably the best opportunity of their life. Yeah, not allowing it. It's like they, they regret it because they, they were not ready or they were not allowing it. They blocked it. They were not open up. For this happy energy although I feel here they wanted it but they feel like I, I can't have it let's see here seven of swords what are you for here six of swords knight of pentacles yeah I feel here it, Sag, you've been dealing here with an earth. This person could have water or air in the chart. The thing is, this person were ending something. They were moving from somebody. And they they felt like they... They cannot yet to have out there. Although, again, they wanted it. So it's kind of was the, the poison fruit here. They hoped for the movement, but there is something here they they couldn't do. It's also a thing here, not give and take, it's like they they could want it, but they could not want to put effort. Let's say here, ten of swords. Please, on clarifier, four of pentacles. They, they could still hold on a situation here. They were not quite sure how to go, where to go. Okay. And if it was a third party here, that ended. Death energy, two of pentacles. It's kind of... Whoever was very much indecisive, they might not try to make a decision or they didn't, were not able to do a decision. So the other one did it. So I feel here that's you, Sag. Yeah. Eight of Cups. Somebody here walked on a new path and moved towards somebody new. Yeah. If you Sag here... You've been debating here, should I stay in this energy? Should I wait for them? But they were not allowing this. I feel here you walked away because there was somebody new. Could be a water sign coming up. Piscean energy here. Knight of Cups, a new offer. A 
needed time to figure it out. Let's see. Knight of Wands, speak to me here. Devil. Hangman. Yeah, I feel here you, you really wanted somebody here. That's why you hold on them. For some of you, Sagittarius, you hold on somebody for more than two years. But then I feel here it came up to you that, hey, wait a little bit. Why I gotta wait for this person? What's the reason I'm waiting for this person? Why it's holding me back? They put me to wait for too long when there is somebody here right next to me. Queen of Wands. Seven of Wands. Six of Cups. And Strength. It's kind of like overcoming the resistance here. There is a soulmate here which enters into your life, Sag. That's the new life about it and you might resist them because of the past events I feel here you will overcome them although I feel here there is a lot of fear but never ever doubt your intuition your intuition is speaking very loud also let's see here six of pentacles what is standing here for Sun, Star, Knight of Swords, Eight of Swords, Four of Swords, and the World. Wow! Ace of Pentacles. That's what I'm speaking about here, loves. World energy here very much speaks a cycle ends, which is a very superficial cycle with somebody. Somebody here didn't really put effort here. So this cycle is ending. And what I'm saying here, for some of you, <laughs> Saj, I'm not laughing. The thing is, I see here you have a new beginning. You want it, but it's coming after healing. Whatsoever, this person who you've been dealing, they will rush back in once you do that I don't feel you see them coming because this person I feel here they will get over whatever they've been through and they will come forward for another try whatsoever you have an absolutely new stable beginning what is worth to take forward confuse look very very highly there two of cups will of fortune there is love coming here the universe is sending you love and two of cups very much speaks about new love ace of swords look straight what do you don't want Ten of Pentacles and Libra energy here, justice, to be fair, okay? I feel here there is a Sag here who is single. I don't see you single for way too long. Whoever comes towards you is your person, one thing. Other thing here, be mindful because who you're leaving behind, they will come rushing in. They have a certain behavior or they have that type of, is like that type of person like, oh, you know, I want this new beginning. I want it after this. I, I have and blah, 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 you know. But what I'm seeing here, there is um, a marriage in paper here for many of you and there is love. And it's meant 
to be happening for you, Sag. So be very, very mindful here to not get confused with whoever comes back and whoever is new to you. This new person seems to me a very stable emotionally person. Doesn't be necessary, you know, skip the zodiac signs, okay? The thing is what I'm seeing here is King of Cups is somebody who is stable, emotionally stable, emotionally grounded, a mature person as well. It's a king. The other person is a page, is a knight, not a page. Okay? And whatsoever, we do have all the knights in this reading. So prepare yourself for a lot of movement for this week, for the next week. And even by the end of this year. Okay? So, loves. Woof. Keep an eye. Take a deep breath. And allow this to come. What I'm saying here, there is something here good coming here. And for some of you, Sagis, I feel like it's too good to be true. It's like I never happened to have this. Well, you deserve this. You absolutely do. So, Sag, enjoy it. It's coming. Okay? And it's stable. No doubt. Put the burden down here and enjoy. Whoever here, wow, wow. Look at here. The next card is 10 of Wands, which is another 10. We have all the tens, inclusive the Wheel of Fortune. Put this burden down. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Lovely energy. Three of Pentacles working together on this. Two of Wands, we decide everything together to do it. Higher of End, Stability, Marriage. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. All the Aces. Quite unbelievable. So, still confused? I don't feel so. So, Sag, enjoy this time. It's coming. And you, again, you deserve it. Movement. A lot of movement. A lot of things here. You are on a new path with this Eight of cups if you've been debating well should i go is this connection which i move forward will grow or will, will be consistent yes i feel here for you waiting for the wrong person the right person is now entering into your life okay awesome level light edges if you feel this speaks to you and it's your reading, let me know down below. And either you are Sag, either you're a cross watcher or just somebody who just coming in. I thank you and we'll see you next time. Of course, not forgetting to like, subscribe and share. And of course, to leave a comment below. Namaste.